What's up, everybody? Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Not only is it Friday, so it's the end of the week and we get to start our weekend, but it's also the last day of January. So we have made it, guys, the first month of this new year, of this new decade. We have identified our purpose. We have set some goals. We have identified our success. And this week, we are. it's all about us being intentional before we get into today's video though it is the last day of the month that means if you watch my video on wednesday it's the last day of me doing this 30 days of keto and you know what honestly like i said on wednesday more power to the people that do keto long term which i don't think is healthy so consult your doctor but more power to the people that do this long term because i couldn't okay i couldn't i struggled it was hard but i made it and i'm happy and similar to you know this month of really trying to find our purpose and, you know, goals and success and our intentions. I feel like I was also, you know, almost doing the same thing with this keto journey. Like, what is the purpose of me doing this? And so, you know, it, it was rough, but, you know, I made it through. So let's get right into today's video before I start rambling on about health and all of that stuff. So as always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. This is the last day for our purposeful month, for our week full of intentions. So today we're going to talk about what an intentional life looks like. And I think I mentioned it on Wednesday that an intentional life looks like a life full of purpose. So a life full of purpose is a life full of good intentions. Okay, good intentions, because there could be bad intentions too. And we don't want those bad intentions, because bad intentions lead to bad things and bad decisions and bad outcomes. Okay, we're focusing on the good intentions. So if we look at the past month, so we can really identify what a life full of intention or an intentional life looks like. If we look at the past month, how many things did you or did we um, do? How many things did we do or how many things happened to us that were intentional? Okay, so how many things did we do intentionally? How many things that happened to us or that happened to us intentionally? And I could think of several right off the bat. Several things that happened intentionally and then some things that happened unintentionally. Remember, if it is an intent if it is something that is done with intention, it means that it's done on purpose. Okay? So you there was no accidents made when you did this or when this happened to you. It was done on purpose. So there were a couple things that happened to me on purpose or a couple of things that happened by accident. And so if we look at the things that happen, well, we'll do accident first. If we look at the things that happen on accident, you also need to ask your question because we're trying to figure out what our life full of intention looks like. So why did those things happen? Okay. What, um, what were the reasons behind those things happening? Was I living within my purpose when those things happened or was I outside of my purpose? And nine times out of 10, when things happen to me on accident that alter that alter the structure of my life moving forward, uh, most of the time it's because I'm living outside of my purpose. If I've identified my purpose, the purpose that God has given me, I've gone through the goal setting, I've seen what success looks like for that, and I'm still operating outside of my purpose. When things happen to me, a lot of time, oh, I won't say nine times out of 10, 50% of the time it's because I am operating outside of my purpose. And God's like, yo, I need you, I need you back in. So I'll actually, not, I'm going to say, I'm going to bump that percentage back up to nine times out of 10. Okay. So it was unintentional on my part, but intentional all the time on, or all, all in all aspects on God's part. Cause he's like, sis, I need you to, I need you to focus. Okay. So those were those accidental areas. But if we were doing things intentional, were they in line with our purpose? So that's the difference between the good intentions and the bad intentions. Because if they were in line with your purpose, or if they were not in line with your purpose, then your intentions towards that thing or towards whatever happened to you shouldn't have been good. I mean, in the in the moment, they probably felt good. Um, but what were the long-term results of that? And long-term doesn't have to be six months to a year. Long-term could be... What happened at the beginning of the month to the end of the month? I'll give you an example. So remember, or remember, we said um, during our live, no, 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 Friday of last week, literally a week ago, last week, we set a goal and we were going to measure our success based on how, uh, or measure the uh, effectiveness of our purpose and our goals based off of how successful we were with that goal. My goal, one of my goals, I told you guys on Wednesday or sometime this week that I was supposed to wake up every morning, hit the gym, 
get some prayer time in, eat breakfast, do the videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Other days, you know, just rest, I guess. I don't know. Um, and I have not been doing that. I have not. And I, and I could tell, um, and so the long-term results of that, and granted, it's only been a week, but I could tell if I continue on that path of setting a goal for myself, wanting to be successful, but not, but not backing it up with things that I know would support my purpose. I could tell the long-term results of that is laziness, not even like physical results. I'm talking laziness, inconsistency, um, uh, flakiness on my part. So I'm not even sticking true to my own word. Okay. To myself. So looking at the long-term results, I can see like, Hey, I got to get it together or else you know, I have to start doing stuff intentionally, which is intentionally going to bed at a decent time, intentionally making sure I wake up the first time my alarm gets off and not pressing snooze, intentionally setting some things in order so that my life looks more structured and it's more purposeful instead of just, oh yeah, I'll go to bed whenever. I mean, my goal is still to wake up at five, but you know, whatever, I'll just go to bed at 12 and we'll see what happens. Like, no, Ash, like literally you're, you're just talking to talk. You're talking to hear yourself talk. And that's not, that's not a life full of purpose or a life full of intention. So when we set these goals, when we're talking about success, when we're talking about our purpose, look at the long-term results of, of how, what you're doing now and how intentional, how intentional you are in doing that. Because the bottom line is whenever you are in your purpose, most things will fall in line. So everything should be done intentionally, period. If I am always in my purpose, that means that Everything I do should be with intention. Every, I should be living an intentional life because I'm living a purposeful life and I have my goals in my, in my, um, in my eyesight or in my, in my main point of view and I'm focused on success. So how can I be focused on achieving those goals and achieving success if I'm not achieve, if I'm not actively and intentionally working on my purpose every single day? Okay. So that is what we're talking about when we're, when we are saying we are living intentional lives. Okay. We're wrapping all of the past month, we're wrapping that all into one and saying, hey, to be purposeful, I got to also be intentional, okay? So that is the last video of this purposeful month. Remember, I am going tomorrow, I am going live tomorrow. It's going to be a little bit later than normal because I have um, a meeting tomorrow at noon. So it'll be like around four-ish or five, but it'll be live on IGTV or on Instagram, not on IGTV, on Instagram and on Facebook. So hope that you guys can tune in tomorrow between four and five. I'll have the specifics more tomorrow uh, afternoon. But yes, hope everyone has a wonderful Friday and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.